Hello and welcome to Triple Crown Wargaming with me, the Duke. And today I'm going to talk to you about another Duke. A Duke which you may have seen all oh, about a week ago if you're watching this video on the day of release. And that is of course the new Bretonian Duke on Pegasus. Uh, which is actually just one of the three builds and I'll talk about all three today. But the one we are going to start with is what they described as a Duke on Royal Pegasus. Now... A lot of you may have seen pictures of this Pegasus, the mount itself, before the reveal on uh, Saturday last week. And I'd seen them as well. They, you know, they're plastered all over many social media sites. Um, and there were questions about, was this the start of a new Pegasus night unit, perhaps? To be honest, it always looked a bit too big to be in a unit for me. I felt like it was going to be a character mount. And as it turned out, I happened to be correct. And the, I think the build that we saw in those images was the build uh, as the mount that they've used for the Duke, which they've said was the sort of the highest level of character, as it were, in a Bretonian army. Just coincidentally, actually, they didn't, or well, they always described this character as a, either a Duke or a Baron, which was their slightly less ranking um, sort of level. And then obviously just the Battle Standard Bearer was the third option. But... Incidentally, on the Warhammer community site, on the uh, article that they've got that they put up with these releases, just describes it as a lord on Pegasus. So I know some people, certainly some people that have been talking to me about this, uh, are wondering, well, is the Bretonian lord and the paladin title gone? I don't think the paladin title's gone. We've seen that on the on foot guy. Um, for sure, that was described as a paladin. But perhaps, or well, I thought, perhaps the Lord title had gone. But now, I'm not so sure. We'll have to see. But today, I'm going to focus on the model itself, or models, as it were, themselves. And, yeah, I mean, phenomenal. As I said, there are some slight variations that you can uh, make to the mount itself. I think that's mainly around the um, sort of head and neck of the Pegasus. I think the wings are the same. I think the general pose is the same, looking at the images from Games Workshop. I even think actually the uh, sort of barding and all of the, uh, you know, the reins and everything like that is the same on the Pegasus as well. I do think it's just the head and the armour on the head that changes, uh, but we'll have to wait and see, I suppose, to get the full uh, rundown on the different options for the mount. But yeah, what a lovely mount. Um, really good amount of detail, I think. It's not too busy, and I think that's crucial for me. Um, I, I don't, you know, that I like a lot of the 8th edition, uh, new to 8th edition models, but when I think of something like an Empire State Troop, actually, I prefer the ones from sort of a couple of editions ago because they're so much simpler. They've not got all of the belts and tassels and bags hanging off of them, which I don't think you need on your sort of rank and file troops. Now, this being a character... I think you need a bit more of that and this I think has got a really good amount of it you can sort of it's got the um, shield sort of uh, motif as it were on the side of the barding uh, sort of raised up like the sixth edition Bretonian Knights had which I have got to be honest I am a fan of I know a lot of people aren't but uh, I certainly am and it also looks like looking at the different builds you've got options for either a lance or a sword or of course the banner if you go for the BSB option um, but I think that's that's really good actually to see a Bretonian kit or character kit for the first time I think have weapon options different options like that they've always been to my memory at least they've always been a very specific character that you build them this way these are the parts you get and I really like the fact that we've gone back to or well, not back for Bretonians but back to game, for Games Workshop to a sort of multi-part uh, multi-option kit big fan of that I even like the uh, new helmet that they've got on the Lord with the little, uh, I don't know, mini shrine, I guess I'd describe it as, on his head. Um, wasn't a huge fan of it on the Knights on Foot that they showed off, but actually really like it on the character. I think for a character, it works really, really well. Um, they've gone with the Lance option, like I said, on the um, Duke, but on the Baron, moving on to him, they went with the Sword option. Uh, much less sort of ornate headdress. Um, and generally less ornate uh, sort of model for the knight himself. As I say, the Pegasus is largely the same. It's got a different head uh, in the, the form that they've built it in. Um, but the Pegasus, um, sorry, the, the knight, the character, is much more sort of 
scaled back on the detail and I like that I like the fact that you can sort of look at a character and go oh he's not quite as embellished as this guy so this guy must be sort of slightly lower ranking I like that a lot and um, they also showed off a slightly different color scheme on the Baron so they went with a white and orange crest on the front of the Pegasus and uh, you can just about see the cloak that the Baron is wearing the sort of an edge of it is orange so I'd assume that that's white and orange as well as is his sort of um, chest piece the fabric that goes over his chest now that is the color scheme you may have noticed from a map they released a long time ago uh, that is the color scheme for the current king of Britannia who is Luon Orc Slayer I believe uh, and it's his crest as well it's a red dragon um, a lot of people are saying this is going to be the model for King Luan and to me mainly because of that point I just mentioned actually I don't think it is because it's not ornate enough I really don't think it's, you know, detailed and spectacular enough to be the king, to be the, the leader of this faction of the kingdom of Protonia, like it clearly would be a model for the king. And I think they'd have made a bigger point of it being a model for the king, if it was. Um, and so I, I just don't think it is. I could be wrong, but I think they've just painted this baron in sort of the king's colours, almost as if he's... He, he might well be part of a uh, king's army that we see from going to shop further down the line. And that's why he's painted a bit differently. So he sort of fits in with that. But I don't think he himself is the king. They've also painted the Pegasus differently um, for the Baron. They've, they've gone with a sort of darker browns. And it looks like maybe even down to grey on the sort of hooves. And that works really well with the, the white and the orange scheme. Uh, the, the red and the black on the... Baron uh, on the Duke sorry that's really nice because uh, of the contrast there as well and I think they've just sort of almost flipped that and gone the darker Pegasus for the Baron uh, big fan of that huge fan it does beg the question for me what other options are we going to get in the kit like is this are all of these options everything that we're going to get is there stuff we haven't seen are we maybe going to get uh, I don't know like a two-handed sword perhaps uh, maybe an axe, uh, you know, maybe some of the weapons that the Onfoot Knights of the Realms have now got, which appear to be maybe great weapons, could be halberds, don't know how they'll work. Um, but are we, you know, are we going to get something like that? Is that going to be possible? I do think, I think it's worth saying, every option that will be available to the characters that can go on uh, these Royal Pegasus mounts in the the army rules as it were i was going to say army book we don't know exactly what we're getting but in the in the rules for building your army every option that they have i do think will be in the box i think we're past the days with grand workshop of them giving you rules wise options to give characters a model certain things but they're not actually producing a model that does that i think we are unfortunately some would say long past that um so i do think you'll have the option to build everything uh, that you have a uh, rules for in that box which i think is fantastic i've got to say for for a model like this i think that works really well and then the final build that i've touched on um is the third battle standard bearer model that we've been shown for bretonia we've had an on foot one we've had a mounted on horse one and now we've got the battle standard bearer on pegasus now interestingly they don't say royal pegasus um in the sort of description for the battle standard bearer that we uh, that got shown off last weekend but i wouldn't read too much into that i'd assume it's it's the same model i'd assume it's the same sort of rules wise um and again they've for this one they've gone back to the red and black sort of quartered scheme it is slightly different on the pegasus they've painted it slightly different they've also painted the pegasus slightly different gone with um slightly darker wings which looks quite nice but again like i think the uh, on horse and on foot BSB before it, the banner is completely, or pretty much, completely blank. There's no, you know, sculpted on detail like the old, uh, the metal Bretonian um, BSB model, uh, or I think they redid him in Flying Cast as well, but the one that was originally metal, the sort of most current one. Um, there's no sort of sculpted detail, which I think will be a mixed bag for a lot of people. Someone like me, not that like very good at all at uh freehand anything like that 
I think I'm going to struggle to actually make that look good. And for a model like a Battle Standard Bearer, you really do want to make it stand out, especially for Bretonians, big on their heraldry, big on their iconography. You want to make it stand out. And I think people could struggle with that, which will be a shame. However, on the flip side of that, I think you'll get people who are good at freehand and, and fine detail work, and they will make it look amazing. So... I know, you know, we could well get transfers come back with these kits, um, and that could be a way around it for the people who aren't so good at, at freehand, don't want to try their hand it on, on something like this. And, yeah, to be fair, that may well be something that I look into as well. Um, but I am looking forward to seeing people's interpretations of this, and, and, you know, particularly those people who are really good at painting little sort of dioramas and things on flags. I think they'll make this look incredible there's a piece of art in the eighth edition or well, sixth edition current for eighth bretonian army book of um a knight who he's sort of kneeling down i think his sword's on the floor and there's the lady of the lake he's offering him the growl um if i think someone inevitably will because it's a really lovely piece of artwork paint that onto the flag and i think it would look stunning i can't wait to see it and i know for myself there is absolutely no doubt that i'll be getting three of these kits um, if if the Baron model that uh, we've been shown, if that actually is the king, or there's an option to make the king out of this kit, well, then it looks like I'll be getting four of them. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Can't wait to get that flag into the hands of someone who is good at freehand, or at least get my hands on some transfers that I can use so I don't ruin it. Um, but yeah, let, let us know what you think, because, I mean, I love it, clearly. <laughs> I think the last... 10-12 minutes or so of me ranting on about this new model uh, shows how much I love it really. I cannot wait and will definitely be buying as I say at least three but let me know below what you think of it, uh, which your favourite of the models that they showed off was. I think mine's probably, do you know what, I think it's actually the Baron. I think that colour scheme works really well and it's a good amount of, sort of detail uh, and things on him. Yeah, big fan of it. I think my favourite's the Baron. Uh, let me know what your favourite is down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, keep checking out all of our videos for uh, any more upcoming old world news and in the meantime of course you can go and check out all of our 8th edition content both here on youtube and over on triplecrownwargaming.com but for now i am going to leave it there and say thank you for joining me and we'll catch you next time remember to tag your friends and like subscribe and share then head over to triplecrownwargaming.com and become a knight of the realm today. What, what are you doing, mate? Are you alright? Do